By 2040, 155 million people are expected to be over 65 in the EU. This means that in the next 30 years, the active European workforce is set to decrease by 50 million people. This video will explain the importance of third country nationals, what the new EU's long-term resident directive is, and why migrant rights are important for the EU. Already today, 13% of European essential workers are non-EU. And if you look at our healthcare sector, this number rises drastically with 23% of doctors and 15% of nurses coming from outside of the union. This was especially evident during the recent COVID-19 pandemic, where we relied on third country nationals to keep our healthcare system running. The 23 million third country residents in the EU play a crucial role in our society. And for the EU to remain an attractive labor market, we may need to rethink our labor migration policy. The newly proposed EU Long-Term Residence Directive is an EU law that could grant the rights of mobility to third country nationals who live and work in the EU for three or five years. This would allow third country nationals the freedom of movement, one of the key benefits that makes Europe attractive. The lead negotiator for this bill in the EU Parliament is Damien Beuselaga, who has four main priorities. Allow EU long-term residents to move and work across the EU freely, improve access to the EU long-term resident status for more individuals, including students, beneficiaries of temporary protection status and seasonal workers, guarantee equal rights, including family rights and automatic resident status for second generation migrants at birth, and applying more favorable provisions from national permits to EU long-term residents. When migrant workers and their families come to live and work in the EU, they assume that we have one labor migration system. In reality, though, we have 27 competitive national systems. The US, Australia and Canada don't have this problem. And if we don't reform, we may lose vital talent to our global competitors. Strengthening the rights for migrants and allowing them to move freely across borders will make it much more attractive for international talent to come to the European Union. So what next? Well, negotiations among the political groups in the EU Parliament are ongoing. And once a position has been adopted, further negotiations with the EU interior ministers will take place. The target is to have the directive implemented by the 2024 elections. Let me know in the comments what you think of the proposal. And please subscribe if you like the video. Until next time.